Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. A minus 2B plus C equals a negative 6. A plus 5C equals a negative 12. And negative A plus 6B plus 4C equals 3. And we need to solve the system by substitution. Well, first thing I want to do, I notice the second equation, I can quickly write that to have a by itself. And so by subtracting a 5c, I have a equals a negative 12 minus 5c. So just kind of note that to myself here. Quickly that I can get a by itself and it's equal to negative 12 minus 5c. So now we're going to take that information with the first equation. And I'm going to put, well, instead of a, this negative 12 minus 5c in. So I have a negative 12 minus 5c from the first equ uh, second equation adapted, plug it in for a in the first equation. Then we have a minus 2b plus c equals a negative 6. So now let's simplify this, okay? Well, let's combine what we can with our uh, like terms. If we add a 12 to both sides, okay, we add a 12 to both sides, what do we have? Well, a negative 6 plus 12 is a positive 6. Then a, uh, I'll put b's first, negative 2b over here. And then negative 5c plus 1c is a negative 4c. Okay? Then from there, if I pull out a negative 2 from both parts here, negative 2, I'm left with a b plus a 2c. And that's equal to 6. Divide both sides by a negative 2, and I have b plus 2c equals a negative 3. Subtract 2c to both sides, and b is equal to negative 3 minus 2c. So now we have b in terms of c. Well, <clears throat> what we now can do is we're going to look at, again, our, our last equation, and we're going to plug in what we know for a as well as um, b here to get it just in terms of c and to simplify. So I'm going to fit that over here, my last equation. We have a negative, and then for the a, so we're using this one here, and then a, we have a negative 12 minus 5c plus 6 times b, which is what we just found, negative 3 minus 2c, plus 4c equals 3. And now let's simplify that. Distribute the negative sign to both parts, and we have positive 12 plus 5c, then distribute the 6, we have, well, 6 times negative 3 is a minus 18. 6 times a negative 2c is a minus 12c. And then we add a 4c, and it's equal to 3. All right, so now let's go combine our like terms. 5c uh, and negative 12c and 4c all combine here to be a negative 3c. 12 and negative 18 add together to be a minus 6 and that's equal to positive 3. Add 6 to both sides, we have negative 3c equals well a 9. Divide both sides by negative 3, and c equals a negative 3. So we now have our c value. So we use this now to find, well, the other ones. So let's go find our b value, put negative 3 in for c, so b equals negative 3 minus 2 times a negative 3. Simplify that, negative 3, Negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive, uh, positive 6, oof. And then, a little brain fart there. And negative 3 plus 6 is a positive 3. Oh, gotcha, so we have positive 3 right there. So B is 3, C is negative 3, and let's go find our A. So let's rewrite what we have up here. A equals negative 12 minus 5, but instead of C, I'm putting a negative 3 that we found negative 12 uh, plus, because negative 5 times negative 3 is a positive, 15. And a equals, well, negative 12 plus 15 is a positive, 3. So we can write all three of these as a coordinate point. We have 3, comma, 3, comma, negative 3, meaning that our final answer is a equals 3, b equals 3, and c equals negative 3. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math.
when you need help, you use Minute Math. 